Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fold the side winder missile. So, it's a real missile, so it has the uh, tail fins there, four of them. And then it has the canard fins in the front. And then it has the uh, attachment points, so you could put on jets like the Griffin and the Falcon. Okay, so let's get started. I have, I like, really recommend you have a creasing stone, because the paper's gonna get very thick. So first you're gonna crease the diagonals. Excuse me. Okay, so crease the diagonals and then you're going to fold the paper in half and then you're going to crease it into eights. So when you crease it, what I like to do is just fold it up. And then you fold it up again, like that. So you could, to make the missile just that big here, you need to use uh, eight and a half by 11. But if you want to make it so that it's smaller, I haven't tried that yet. I, I'm probably guessing you could use like three inch or two inch, probably three. Because you can make a missile this big using the trident using like, like six inch square. So, uh, you're gonna have to use bigger paper. So when I was folding the fuselage, uh, paper got really thick, so I just tried my best. And then you flip it and do the same thing. So, uh, I forgot how far this missile could fly up to. I think it was like 100 feet. Like the majority of his missiles fly up to like 100 feet. You could put the Hunter missile on the Griffin. And you could also put this missile on the Falcon and Diamondback. Oh. So when you're folding eights, make sure you do what I do. Or else your uh, or else is your plane your missile it won't you you won't be able to fold the tail fins because we're gonna fold the tail fins first we're gonna like put these the tail fins so make sure you do what I'm doing And 
And this missile is actually easy. It's actually very easy to make, but uh, there's only like two hard parts. We have to like reposition the paper to make the attachment point and the tail fin. now look like this with like it should look like that fold those sides in And then you're going to take that edge to that third square here. I don't know if you could see, but it should be that crease because one square, two square, and uh, three square right there. So take it right up to that. You're going to need it. And when you're folding the, when you're, you just do the same thing on the other side. But when you do it, make sure you do it so that it's on that side. It should be on that side, like right there. It should be on the side uh, behind where you have all those creases. But before you do that, you fold that into the third one. You can fold it into the third one either direction. Like that third one. That one right there, it's not going to matter. So you first fold this in and out, right behind it. Like that. And then you do the same thing for this other side. Okay, so now you're gonna fold this over as far as it will go, which is right there. And when you crease it, hold on. So when you crease it, you want that edge, that edge right there to be perpendicular with that one. Make sure you crease that part super sharp. And then you're gonna free up that sharp paper and take it and you're going to just take it and 
pull it down. Make sure to crease right here. Make sure to cre crease that part like sharply because you're going to need it. Okay, and once you do that, you unfold, you just fold it back to normal like that. Flip it, fold that over, and then when you fold that over, you're going to fold it along that crease you made. Make sure those creases line up. And repeat on the other side. So this is a base that you could use for a lot of missiles actually. You could use it for other missiles. You could create your own missiles actually. That'd be very good. Like I said, you're gonna need this crease for uh, something you're gonna do right right now. So you're gonna open this up, push in on like those creases, and then you're gonna push in on those creases right there while pinching on that. Take it, it should look like that. Fold it up, push it on that crease you like just made, and then you're going to push it in on that one right there. When you're done, it should look like that. And repeat on the other side. look like this when you're done. This is going to make the tail fins. And then you just insert reverse fold those in, take it, fold that over. Make sure it's symmetrical. Like that. And this next crease is the hardest. So you're really going to push in on those creases right there. 
so just do that. So this missile is kind of asymmetrical. So yeah. And uh, before, like, uh, I made it, I made this missile. I tried making like, I tried making it, but I couldn't. I had like a very hard time. So just swivel that up. And then you swivel that up once again. And I had a very hard time, so I gave up. And after that, I made the dagger, the raven, hunter missile, griffin, the F-22, the falcon. And then I went back to this, and this turned out to be very easy. So yeah, you're going to fold this up so it's so that, that point is away from that one right there. From the tail fin, actually. And you fold that in, free up that trap paper, like that, free up that trap paper. And then what you're going to do here is when you fold this out, make sure that that is spread out. like that. Fold it over. Excuse me. And then you're going to squash fold it. And that is how you make the attachment point. Okay, flip it. You want to wrap uh, this right here. You want to wrap it, take it, and wrap it around. Kind of have to open it up because uh, you don't want it to rip and then push and then you reform it like that do the same thing but on this side it's gonna be different okay so you just uh, do that So I kind of have trouble on this. So excuse me. Okay, I'm just gonna restart. I'm having trouble. Having trouble again. Excuse me. 
I don't know why, but I'm having very bad trouble trying to uh, do this here. Okay, I'm gonna restart again. So push. Okay. Here we go. So, uh, take it, flatten it. That was hard. I'm still having a hard time. Uh, this model here was only like my third time. So, I'm ha so I had trouble. And then you flip that up. And then you repeat that process on the other side. Hold it down, pop that up when you're doing that, and uh, you then swivel that up, flip it, squash, flip that right over, and take that squash fold it down like that and then you just take that side and you close and get make sure it doesn't kink so it should look like that and what really a close and is is it's a move where you have to take this like triangle or whatever that has a point and you want to take it and push it over on the other side so you just close sink it and actually here is the flap that we just close synced on the other side Make sure you fold that over as well. And you just tuck it in. And then what you're gonna do is uh, take it and inside First, fold it in and out, just like how you did with the tail fins. But for this one here, you have to close sink it. Like that. 
And when you take it, increase from right there. You want to just wiggle it down. I'm going to free up that trapped paper. Fold it up and fold the canard fins over like that. Like that. And then you repeat on this side, but you're gonna do it a little bit differently because you're gonna have a little problem. that entire thing over and the problem is unlike the other one you have this you have like that flap but this thing is inside that flap so you can't sink fold it without having to sink that too and that's gonna cause very that's gonna cause a very bad problem so what you're gonna do is you're going to actually lift it up and fold it in on the inside like that So now it should look like that. You can make all kinds of things with origami. You can make like everything in the world with origami, unless you need like a huge piece of paper. But you can make like a moth. You can make like a praying mantis. And that's very cool. But I just chose to make planes. Because I haven't tried making like those ones where you have all those creases, like crease patterns, and then you start crimping in and out. Like, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. In a model, I will like try when I'm way older. What I actually know how to do like those origami insects and stuff is I'm gonna try the ancient dragon. And uh, I heard the ancient dragon is like super hard. It's one of the hardest, I think. Now for the hard part. You're going to have to narrow it and it's gonna get super thick, so. Make sure you're folding on this side, it shouldn't be on that side. Uh, you're gonna fold right at that tail fin right there. So when you fold it over, you should have just a little bit of space before it touches the center. Unfold it, fold that in half, like that. And then you fold that uh, little section you just made and take it and then fold it in half, like that. And then you just take it here and then you just start to roll it over like all of those creases. It's going to be very, very thick. 
when you roll it. And then when you're done rolling it here, you're going to narrow the point by folding that into right there. But I'm not done. For this missile, kind of needed my mom's help because I was kind of weak. And then you're going to unfold just a little bit like that much and do the same thing on the other side gonna be very thick and hard to fold I'm sweating because of this Oh yeah, I even tried standing on this to make it flat. But that kind of helped. So I'm gonna try that. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to take that edge and you fold it in. Like that. And then you roll the other side in. What's that? look like that when you're done so fold the tail fins out fold the canard fins out and if you're not if you're not gonna attach this onto a uh, jet yet and you're just gonna want to fly it you're going to take the attachment points here and you're going to take it and you're gonna fold them into that pocket Okay, here it is, a finished Sidewinder missile. Hope you guys enjoyed.